All right, Mid-South fans, we are kicking things off with tag team action. We've got the team of Van Gogh, Killer Cross, and Corvin Sage against Dr. Colby Black and Gemini representing Space Age. Wait, Van Gogh? Yeah, Van what? Gogh. You do not know? Did you like, not get the memo? Like the painter? No, no, no. It's a, it stands for Vile and Notorious Generators of Hate. It suits them well. Oh, it certainly does, and I'm just going to stick with Van Gogh because that is certainly a mouthful, Tim. Yes, it is. Kind of like Xavier. All right, as the bell sounds, this is our board of director member Adam Patrick being joined by Bump Monkey Mafia's own Taryn Buckle Tim. Oh, what a move from Colby Black opening up this contest. The doctor is on fire, folks. Doing a little jaw jacking with the Mid South champion, Xavier. Corbin Sage taking a little bit of a breather. And you got to know that Van Gogh is, doesn't have the numbers game here. As we saw earlier, the Space Age was out here with Gemini, so they are in the back. That may even the odds a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. Oh, he cuts off Dr. Colby Black. Beautiful flip. And Colby catching him up. What's Kobe setting up for here? Oh, oh hangs him up on the top rope. Man, that kind of reminds me of like when you get hit in the jaw when you bite your tongue. That never feels good, Tim. Oh, sets him up in the sunset flip. That was close. I've seen many of opponents kick out to that very move from Mr. Colby Black. Colby laying the boots to Corvin Sage former cruiserweight champion here at Mid-South. And, you know, the precursor to this match was last time we were here at Mid-South, they Van Gogh viciously attacked everybody in the ring. Oh, certainly, when they took down uh, one of our officials just because it was his birthday, which cleared the entire locker room. And my favorite kind of flip, a monkey flip. That never gets old. One of the signatures of Jim and I goes for the kick. With the roll up. Two count only, says Ref Steve. And here's Xavier coming into play here, just like I mentioned. And the Mid South champion, he's always going to be ringside with his team, Van Gogh. And it's always going to play an X Factor in this match. It's just a matter of win. And Jim and I looks to be getting fired up here. This may be what the Space Doctor's need. Oh, sends him into the top ring post. This is where Corbin Sage, former Cruiserweight champion, just like I said, will be taking over. Gemini's gonna have to make it, oh, but he catches him off. And I wanna point out also, Sage has been on a different level, a different plane as of late. Well, ever since joining Van Gogh, he, he has a different mindset when he's in there. He's he's not like his usual self. He's he's not the Mr. Excitement of old. He's like he's a little more violent, a little more vulgar, a little more mean with the roll up. Gordon and Sage. Very smart move there by Van Gogh to block the ref from being able to count. Like I said, Xavier will be an X Factor in this match this entire time. And a curb stomp from Colby Black. Colby Black laying the boots to the big man, Killer Cross, but Killer Cross just brushes it off. And that was just about as picture perfect as you can get with that move there, Adam. Oh, absolutely, Tim. Like we said, he is a doctor, but the doctor isn't good at jaw jacking with Xavier ringside. And now we see Sage going to the leg, like trying to take out that wheel of Colby Black. I'm not sure what just happened there, but it was effective, folks. And you notice how they're cutting the ring in half for this tag team matchup, not letting Colby Black crawl back to his section. 
Good sound tag team actions. As the big man Killer Cross takes over, just laying his foot in there. Colby Black may be a doctor, but his limbs are exactly like ours, folks. That's probably what, 350 plus pounds stepping on that appendage. It certainly probably doesn't feel good, Tim. Ref Steve has to have eyes in the back of his head with Xavier. Just like that right there. Oh. And this has officially become a three on two now. In the mid set. Oh. Killer Cross just face palmed Jim and I. I th there's really nothing you can do. Um, Van Gogh is in the position they're in because they are all smart and they're all experts at deceiving the referee. Where there's one, there's two. Where there's two, there's one. They're never, ever going to be a part. They're always going to have to play a factor in each and every one of their matches. And now we have Cross just trying to bait Gemini. Meanwhile, the champion is taking over. Blind tag, but there was no tag made. The referee did not see it. And how we just see Sage mocking clapping behind the ref's back as if a tag was actually made. Pure and unadulterated deceitfulness of the team of Van Gogh. And they... Corbin Sage just nailed that DDT. So basically, you are getting pendulum square on your face with that. There's no way to protect yourself. No, how do you learn how to protect yourself from that? Oh! And a crash and burn from Sage. Is this what Colby Black needs to possibly make a tag here? Just to get it, just to get at it. You know, Colby Black's barely to his feet, but so is Corbin Sage. He's got to clear him out of his way in order to get that tag. And now just exchanging shots in the middle of the ring. Hard left from Corbin Sage. And a huge kick to the face. Roundhouse found its mark. The leg drop to boot, goes for the cover. And Xavier playing a factor into this match once again. And now we have Jim and I going outside to take it to Xavier, but the ref not allowing him to get to that side of the ring. Hard knife edge chop. Sending Sage into the corner. Big kick to the back. That was the lower back, too. That's going to affect Sage's ability to move later on in this match. Gemini's in. Drop kick, Russian's leg sweep combo. Very effective tag team wrestling from Colby Black and Gemini here. Colby Black, he is the first ever Mid-South Express champion and current holder of that title. Quick, frequent tags, tag team 101. Working over that arm with great tag team action. What a modified neck breaker from Black there. Going back to work on that arm. This is where the doctor, his years of medical practice, come into play as he picks apart the body and the arm of Corbin Sage. Corbin Sage cutting him off. And a huge boot from Sage. Talk about a dissection going straight to the head. You know, I would think that Corbin Sage would like nothing more to take the Mid-South Express Championship. Sage going for a moonsault. He missed the double. A huge enziguri from Sage, but the big man's in, folks. And Killer Cross 
catches Gemini, Gemini is a house of fire as he peppers him with those rights. But once again, the size of Cross coming into play. And just the catch and release, folks. That set out slam. Corbin Sage going up top. What are they setting up for here? Oh! And a massive tandem DDT. And that's all she wrote, folks. What do we do, Adam? We've seen Van Gogh succeed at everything they've done here lately at Mid-South. They're it's, above the law. There's nothing that can be done. Well, at this point, there is no stopping the team of Van Gogh. You've got the Mid-South champion, Xavier. You've got Corvin Sage, one of the best cruiserweights in the States. And you've got one of the biggest, baddest big men in Killer Cross. At this point, there is no stopping them. 